A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground, together with her handmaids, from morning until the evening, and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord, my God. And now come to, me, to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies, turn our mourning into gladness, and our sorrow into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good things to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. That is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our readings today is uh, in Lenten season, is speaking about prayers of petition, which, you know, is a portion, hopefully, of our prayer lives. I don't think it should be the whole of our prayer lives. It should be a portion of our prayer lives, prayers of petition. We have the Book of Hope over here where people, including myself, write in our petitions over there so that those petitions are remembered in every Mass that we celebrate here at St. Peter Claver. Very great graces right before the statue of Mary, the Blessed Mother, who we ask to pray for all of those as well as an intercessor. We all have our own prayers of intercession. Um, today I get to talk to you about my cards. You know, I have these 14, uh, seven cards, both sides, 14 cards, and they're all filled with petitions. And I just do one card a day, one card a day. So over the course of a week or so, I pray, uh, pray for all kinds of people by name, all kinds of different categories. What I have found over these years, now these cards are starting to look quite old. <laughs> They've been around in my, on my prayer chair, in my prayer corner. I think I wrote these about 20 years ago. And a lot of those petitions are still there. They're still there. But every once in a while, I get to cross one off. Wow. 
It might take years, but I cross it off, and my trust in the Lord grows even more. I really think prayers of petition, that are proper prayers of petition, really help us to grow in trust of God. If we don't trust God, then why would we ask for anything? So we, trust is really important with this, very, very important. Like Esther in our first reading, who barely knows God, but she, she knows of the God of, of Isaac and Joseph and David. And so she prays to that God to, to save her and her country from war. And uh, she trusts that that will happen, and it did. And Jesus tells us in our gospel, ask, and it will be given to you. But later on, it's, it says to, he will give us what is good. We somehow forget that part. <laughs> he will give us what is good. Isn't it true that we don't always know what's good for us and for other people that we pray for? I mean, we just know our little world that we live in. It's a beautiful world, hopefully, and a great world, and we're glad we have it. But it's just our little world, and we don't always understand things. But God knows the big picture. He knows the whole thing. He knows what the future will bring. We don't. He knows what is actually best for ourselves and another person. So when we pray our prayers of petition, and I always try to keep this in mind, always, that's why I have those cards for you know, 10, 20 years, and I still do it because I trust. Because we trust that it, he knows what he's doing. He's bigger than me, bigger than us. I place this in his hands every day. But your will be done. You know what's going on. I don't, but this is how I see it. So I, little, you know, brain here, sees it. So, but we trust him with it, with it all. It's a building of trust. So he said to ask for the good things. You know, so, so I pray a lot about, and hopefully you do too, about people's... Um, spiritual life, about their, you know, their physical life, healings and things like that. Um, even prosperity sometimes if somebody has lost their job and we pray for that. I mean, these are good things. I mean, there's no doubt these are good things. Yet, even with that, God knows when's the right time for these things to happen. We don't. The right people to come into their lives or our lives, we don't. So we trust. We just keep praying and we trust. Again, prayers of petition, I think, should just be a part of our prayer life. We, we don't, we, you know, it's like a little child. You know, what do they do? They ask for everything. Can I, can I, can I, can I please, please you know, if they say please. <laughs> you know, those kind of things, you know. So, yeah, we, we have a little, we need to do that. But that can't be everything in our, in our relationship with God. Our relationship with God must go deeper than that, much deeper than that. A relationship of love and caring and trust and hope and joy. That's, that's the prayer life that is vibrant in, uh, for us in our lives that we, ha we get to do and get to have with our Lord. So today, maybe we could take a look at our prayers of petition, the ones that we, uh, we hold dear and we keep praying about and, and ask the Lord to continue to build up our trust at those petitions that as we ask, we trust him to do what is best.